Okay, in this video, I just want to show you guys how to do the problems from section 4.4 uh, directly in your calculator. So from example four, um, this one was a permutation, and we said that one way you could do it was to go to NPR in your calculator. So here's how you do that. So you click math, and then go over to probability, and then we want the second one down, NPR. And then you'll see that it comes up with these little boxes that you're gonna fill in. So N is always the first one, so that's the six for this problem. And then three goes in the other one, and then just click enter, and you get your answer. So that's it. So just math, probability, NPR, fill it out, and that's it. Um, on this one, there's not a way to do it directly in your calculator as far as like the calculator doing the formula for you. So we just have to figure out how to type this expression in. Okay, so um, you'll type 10 and then we need the factorial key. So again, you go to math, go over to probability, and then it's the fourth one down. And then you can do your divides, open a parentheses on your denominator that is required, that's not optional. And then you'll do three, math, probability, factorial, three, math, probability, factorial. I'm gonna skip the one factorial because it's just a one, so times by one doesn't change anything. Um, two factorial is, is really just two because it's two times one, which is still two, but just in case you're not comfortable with like knowing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the factorial anyways. Okay, and then close your parentheses, press enter, and you get the 50,400. Okay, this one for the combination rule. So you can just go to NCR in your calculator. So you would go to math, probability, um, third one down, NCR for combinations. And then you would fill in the seven, fill in the three, and you get 35 as your answer there. And then I did just wanna show you how you can um, reduce fractions and get like a, a final reduced fraction as your answer in your calculator. So I'm just gonna do like part B here. I'm gonna type this whole expression in and then I'll show you how, to, how you um, get the reduced fraction. So 1427, why is that not typing? 1427 divided by 2784 plus 1850 divided by 2784 minus 1021 divided by 2784. Okay, so when you press enter on that, you get a decimal. Now, let's say that Connect Math says that it needs to be a reduced fraction. So what you can do is go to Math and then you just click enter on fraction and then enter again. And it's gonna turn whatever your last thing in your calculator was into a reduced fraction. So that's how you get 47 over 58. 